This video tutorial provides an overview of how to operate the Curtis 1313 handheld programmer, which is used to configure Curtis motor control systems. With this programmer, you can adjust and save parameter settings, monitor real-time data, and perform diagnostics and troubleshooting. Warning! Please be aware that the control system can affect speed, acceleration, deceleration, dynamic stability, and braking. If the control system is programmed incorrectly or outside of safe limits as determined by the vehicle manufacturer, it can create a dangerous situation. Only the vehicle manufacturer or authorized service agent or dealer should program the control system. We will now describe the basics of how to operate the handheld programmer. Let's start with connections. The 1313 handheld programmer has two connectors, one for communicating with the Curtis motor controller and one for interfacing with a PC. The system connector port is used with the supplied cable to connect the programmer to the Curtis motor controller. The USB connector port hooks up with a USB cable to connect the programmer to a PC. The handheld programmer has an internal memory of 64 megabytes for all your files and programs. You can increase this memory with a standard SD card, just like in a camera, to provide additional memory. Note that the SD card must be inserted into the programmer face down. Now, let's power up the programmer. The battery compartment on the underside of the unit holds two AA batteries. The programmer automatically powers up and displays this screen while it uploads information from the controller. Once the programmer has uploaded the information from the controller, it displays the main menu. This is the red power button. To turn off the programmer, press and hold the power key for a few seconds. You will then be asked whether you want to power off the programmer, and the soft key text will offer you the choices yes and no. If you have turned off the programmer, or if it has timed out and shut itself off, pressing the power key will turn it on again. Now, let's explore key functions. The push button keys on the programmer's keypad allow you to navigate easily through the menus. These are the soft keys. These three soft keys are blank because their function is context specific. At any given time, their function is shown directly above them on the LCD screen. Here are the directional arrow keys up, down, left, and right. In the main menu, you can use the arrow keys to highlight one of the menus. You can then open the highlighted menu using the Select soft key. Within menus other than the main menu, the right arrow key navigates forwards, that is, to open highlighted submenus or items. The plus and minus keys are here. The plus and minus keys allow you to increase or decrease the value of parameter settings. They also are used as plus equals yes and minus equals no buttons. In some cases, they are used to scroll through several options, as in selecting an access level or selecting a language. The yellow star lets you save favorites. You can access the favorites menu by selecting its icon in the main menu or by using the Favorites key. By pressing the Power key and then the Favorites key, you can take a screenshot of the LCD display. Please note, you must have an SD card installed into the 1313 handheld programmer for this function to work. The yellow stack gets you to the main menu at any time. 
the main menu key returns you directly to the main menu from wherever you are. When the main menu is displayed, you can also use this key to cycle through the individual menus. You can use either this key or the arrow keys to navigate within the main menu, whichever you prefer. The yellow question mark is the Help button. The Help key is used to display context-specific help texts. It is a toggle key. You can press it again to close the help text window. Let's explore the display format. The green circle indicates connection to the system. A red slash indicates when not connected. On the bottom, you see the soft key text line. To perform an action suggested in the text associated with that key, press the blank soft key just below it. In this example, the Select Soft key will open the System Info menu, which is highlighted. The Select Soft key opens whichever menu is highlighted. Pressing the Offline Soft key allows you to use the programmer when it is not communicating with a controller. We hope that this short tutorial has been helpful for you. Please refer to your manual for safe and effective operation of the Curtis 1313 handheld programmer and assure that your vehicle is programmed correctly. Thank you.